Today, I want to talk to you about bone because I think it's such an interesting tissue. The thing is that most people view bone as, as something that they see after death. But in reality, bone is very much alive. I mean, if you think about it, all you need to do for it to repair itself is make sure that the two bones meet each other and then the bone repairs itself. That just tells you how dynamic it is. And it is also a very, very intelligent tissue in the sense that it keeps your body upright. You know, it has a mechanical quality to it. Without it, we would be a blow on the floor. So what we want to do today is do a few experiments, the same way we would do in the lab to test how good or strong or not so strong bone can be uh, through experiments that we usually do in the lab. Our first experiment is called a three-point bending. And the reason it's called three-point bending is because you have three points of contact. Our first point here, our second point is here, and our third point comes from the top. Depending on the material, it will either bend or break or resist. So, as you can see, this particular brick broke and I will tell you why in a second. We have another brick we've made and we're going to test it in the exact same way and we're going to see if it's a similar material or not. Let's see what happens when we try to break it. Could I get another volunteer? Right, so we're going to try it together. Yeah. So if we put our feet together and we go at the same time, okay? One, two, three. I think we can climb on it and see. Okay. So both our weights combined. <laughs> no. As you could see, the second brick did not break. The first brick had pretty much cement and gravel. And the second brick had one more thing. And that one thing is this. It is a metal rod, not particularly strong, yet when you combine it with the cement and the gravel, it makes a really, really strong material. And this we equate to bone itself. What you have is the mineral fraction combined with a protein fraction called collagen. And that collagen is twisted and hyper-twisted and able to withstand the loads of everyday living. 